Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us for our weather update for Tuesday, September 20th. And we are tracking a lot of high pressure and a few lows as well. But actually for this time of the year, the weather is surprisingly settled around New Zealand and Australia. But there is a little bit of uh, interesting weather going on. And we kick off with this front that's moving across Australia at the moment. It's bringing a burst of near gale force winds as it moves past uh, Adelaide. And then it moves further to the east and it'll dump a bit of rain as it does so. On the other side of the Tasman, we've got this mild northerly flow. And that's pushing in some heavy rain around the eastern side of the north island. It's going to accumulate over the coming days. And the final feature, a colder southerly that you can barely see on the map, but that's coming in for the lower part of the South Island. So let's take a look at the rainfall to begin with. The next three days, up here around Ruatoria and East Cape, we're talking about 100 to 125 millimetres accumulating as that subtropical airflow carries on. We'll be also seeing uh, heavier falls going down into Hawke's Bay. The totals aren't huge, but You've already had enough rain lately, so you probably aren't too keen on seeing another 40, 50 millimetres coming through for you. The driest part of New Zealand over the next three days, Stewart Island and Invercargill, right at the bottom of the scale here, 0.1 to just two millimetres. Over in Australia for the next few days, the bulk of that rain moves eastwards and it moves into New South Wales and parts of Queensland. So really from Brisbane down to about Sydney, that's where the bulk of the rain will be with Coffs Harbour getting around about 50 millimetres, but it fades out north of Rockhampton and it fades out south of about Melbourne. Here's the forecast for Wednesday. You can see that low pressure zone moving into uh, Victoria and New South Wales and parts of Queensland. New Zealand blocked by high pressure from that system for now. We've got a different system over here. Northeasterly winds, which are going around this big high, well out to the east of New Zealand. But that's pushing in this easterly flow around the tropical islands. And it curves off and into the New Zealand area, just clipping that northeastern corner bringing in that rain. Elsewhere, the winds are all over the place, and in fact, down here in the lower South Island, a more wintry southerly coming through for you. Not overly strong, but enough to really drop the temperatures for you. So we've got northerlies up here, southerlies or southeasterlies in the south, and over here, mild northerlies on the eastern side of that low, but a cooler change around Adelaide. As we move through to Thursday, you can see the rainmaker moving out from Australia, 10.13, that's borderline for low pressure. It's basically average air pressure. But you can see the rain sliding around this big high, parked right here in the Tasman Sea. So this northeasterly flow comes right down and uh, brings that rain to coastal areas. In the New Zealand area, the high pressure zone keeps the South Island dry. But following Wednesday's cool change, expect a few frosts or at least a cold start. And this system's still driving in rain to this northeastern corner. By the time we get to the end of the week, that rain carries on, but it slides further down the North Island into Hawke's Bay, and it's now finally starting to fall apart. But uh, yeah, for Hawke's Bay, you're probably a bit sick of the rain, and so more rain coming through for you from this uh, weak low pressure zone to the north, basically a trough, uh, will add another 30 or 40 millimetres. Take a look at ruralweather.co.nz to really work out those rainfall numbers for you. Now let's take a look at the weekend. Still got downpours around the North Island, but the South Island is actually leaning drier than average for the next seven days ahead, whereas the eastern side and northeastern sides of the North Island are leaning wetter than average based on the last 30 years or so of rainfall. So you're certainly seeing um, some wet weather around the North Island over the coming week. We're seeing wet weather around the eastern and southeastern parts of Australia. And also here on uh, uh, Friday, Saturday, sorry, you've got this wintry change coming through to Victoria, Tasmania, and also a wintry change happening over here in Western Australia. And our final map here for Sunday shows three low pressure zones in a row. We've got this one in the Great Australian Bight. We've got another one here just exiting Bass Strait and a third one out near the Chatham Islands. None of them are overly serious to worry about, although this one here will be driving in gale force winds once again to parts of Australia, particularly South Australia. And uh, hello to any viewers on Kangaroo Island. It's looking pretty windy for you there on Sunday. So generally speaking, 
in a spring pattern that we're now in, uh, we're likely to be seeing more of these windy westerlies. These will be picking up more over the next few weeks across this part of the map. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. And with La Nina now returning, it strengthens and peaks in November. So we are expecting to see more downpours and low pressure zones up here to the north. However, the change to La Nina is only a slight one from where we've been over the last few months. So that means don't expect just yet anything too dramatic to change the current weather pattern. That is all from me. Thanks for all the comments on YouTube and also on our website. We really appreciate them. I'll be back again tomorrow, Wednesday, with our next update. See you then.